In this video, we're going to talk about Copyscape. It's a website that will basically scan the entire internet looking for copies of web pages or copies of text so that you can find if there's any duplicates out there, especially if, let's say, you published a blog article and you want to see if there's anything out there that Google might track down as, you know, plagiarism. Uh, so it's a cool tool that I use for that purpose. If I see some of my blog articles aren't ranking, or if I have just created a new article, then I'll come on here and paste it in here to see if there's any duplicate content in my article to make sure that it passes with a 100% score. So they've got the Copyscape Premium. That's how you can check if content's original. That's what I currently am using. Or you could just paste in your own URL here. So let's go ahead and just do an example URL here. So golfpracticeguides.com slash bestgolfirons. We'll go ahead and punch that in. We'll click go. And it's going to bring up no results were found. Uh, so that means that, you know, there's no duplicate content related to this specific URL that I pasted in here. So that's good news. Now let's go ahead and go back to the other tool that you can use, Copyscape Premium. You're going to have to load uh, an initial amount of money and it's going to draw from it like a, you know, kind of like a bank account balance. I think mine's getting pretty low now. So I started out, I added like $10 in credits here. Uh, we're down to about $1.34. So I'm going to have to add on some more money here. But it goes away really slow. Every time you do like a thousand words uh, pasted into here, I think it costs about $0.10. Cents. And it has a automatic um, maximum amount of, of $0.20. Cents. Otherwise, you have to overwrite it. So let's go ahead again and let's find that URL. All right, so I've gone to the same exact blog post, the best golf irons one that we just checked a minute ago uh, by typing the URL into Google to see if there's any other URLs or web pages out there similar. Now I'm just going to copy this text. So I'm going to go ahead and try to copy the entire article just to show you an example of how it uh, takes, you know, the 20 percent limit. So this should be over 2000 words here that I just copied. So we're going to go ahead and paste those in. Now, two things should happen. One, we're going to get them saying you're over your 2,000 word limit. So let's go ahead and click on premium search. It's going to ask me to overwrite it. So this search has 2281, which costs 24 cents. This is above my limit I set of 20 cents. So if I want to spend that 24 cents, we can go ahead and override. So looking at my balance here, I've got $1.34. It's going to cost 24 cents. Let's go ahead and do it. Check to override. Go ahead and click the premium search button again. Now it should pop up that website. So it just scanned the entire internet for this text that I pasted in here. And what do you know? It found my website URL. So best golf irons by golf practice guides. So the tool did its job. It found that, you know, that this text here matched some text on the internet. And of course it should because it's, I just pulled it from my own, you know, website article that was already published on the internet. So we can click in here and it's going to compare text. So you can see the page below matches 97% of the text and it's going to highlight everything that matches as well. So you can scroll down here and see all the red highlighted text and that's what's, you know, been brought up as matching. So this is an extreme example because I obviously copied straight from it. But if you are hiring people to write your articles, um, it's a good tool to use to make sure they're not copy pasting big chunks of text um, or if they're writing on a popular topic and there's certain you know information or research they're using that they have to copy straight up then there's probably going to be several results that get returned here of a bunch of different websites that have also used that exact same research or you know if they're using quotes for example things like that it may not necessarily be intentional plagiarism um, but it's just a good tool to use to make sure that there's nothing else out on the internet that matches if you have somebody write articles for you or if you write your own articles and you're pulling from you know different websites around the internet you want to make sure it passes this final test so that Google won't penalize your blog article or your website for duplicate content. Alright so that's all I've got for you today in this quick tutorial of a little tool I like to use called Copyscape to test for plagiarism, duplicate content. You can either do it the URL route back on this home page here or you can go into the premium tool where you will have to pay you know 10 to 20 cents uh, depending on how much text you're, you're scanning. 
So thanks for watching this video. If you found value, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that little bell so you turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.